Okay, kia ora. welcome to Kiwi Bushcraft and Survival and today um, we're going to do uh, smoked tuna um, so I've already um, <coughs> scaled uh, the fish and with tuna there's, there's actually uh, not that much um, in the way of uh, scales they're mainly up around uh, the gills area okay but I've um, sort of de-skinned the rest of it as well. Anyway, we're just going to hook straight into it here. So for those that um, have never done a fish before, okay, um, I sort of go over a bit of the detail um, on one of my other videos. Uh, where I think it was um, doing snapper I explained it all so if you want it a breakdown of it we'll just have a look at that uh, video There's no time for being polite when doing this, just get stuck in, rip it out, okay? There's no real flash way of doing it, just get in there. And all we're really trying to do is just get any gunk out. We just want the, basically we just want the meat, okay? It's that simple. pretty much it. Now what we've got to do, just give it a bit of a rinse off. As you can see it only takes a, a couple of uh, minutes at that. The cat will eat the rest of this, or the, whatever the cat wants to eat from it. That we've just pulled out. Okay, now we're just giving it a bit of a, a bit of a clean. Okay. You don't want too much fresh water on your um, fish on the meat. Okay. And I think what we'll do is I might just um, cut that down. The in fact, that might actually fit like that. I think it might actually fit in the smoker. Like that. Okay, might have to move the tail a bit, but that's all good. Okay, what we'll do is I'll just pause it there, and we'll take it outside, and we'll chuck her in the smoker. Okay, so let's just put this into here. Okay, that fits nicely. Alright. And the next thing we're going to do today, we're going to use uh, methylated spirits. Okay, just basic methylated spirits. Alright. And we want to tip it into our tin. Okay. And fill it up. Always have a spare one handy. Just in case, the hands are a bit wet. Oh, get the thing. Oh, it's better. Needed a dry rag. All we do is fill the tray up to the top. Okay, and when we fill the tray up to the top, that will burn for about 20 minutes when it's right at the top. Okay, and that's all she should take. Next thing we've got to do, 
Load her up. Plonk the fish over the top. <coughs> Chuck our lid on. And she's good to go. Alright. And all we need to do now is uh, grab a beer. Alright. So I'm going to go into the fridge and grab me a nice cold beer now. And uh, this should take about 20 minutes. And um, she should be cooked. Okay, so um, let's just leave it cooking for now. I'll just go and grab me a beer. How nice is that? Penny went and grabbed me one. So, for those that have been uh, watching the channel, I've bumped into a few uh, people around town, uh, around uh, the area where I live, and um, <coughs> they've been asking, saying, pretty much saying to me that uh, they haven't seen any videos up for a while, and that would be right because I've been uh, quite busy. Um, <coughs> but uh, I'll start getting back into it, so... Just tonight uh, I thought we might as well, um, we got this uh, fish so I thought we might as well cook it up in the smoker. We uh, caught one, a kawai, a couple of weeks, oh, when, when did we catch that kawai? About four weeks ago? Yeah, about four weeks ago. Um, we smoked that up, that was nice, I should have I should have videoed it really, it was, it was beautiful. Anyway, um, Something nice to go on your fish is obviously um, lemons, and uh, we've got a uh, lemon tree just out our backyard, just over there by the behind the um, trampoline that we uh, bought for Cheyenne for Christmas. I'm just going to shoot over and grab a couple. There's a couple of lemons, good sized lemons there, and uh, yeah, normally I'd juice these, uh, just take take all the juice out, take the seeds out, um, and then just have it in a cup for um, people to um, pour pour over the fish as they feel feel the need feel the need to. So you can see it's starting to smoke quite nicely now. Um, for those that haven't uh, smoked fish um, before or last time I used the smoker last year uh, for cooking chicken um, it came out beautifully uh, and I added a bit of a recipe to it so if you're keen on um, uh, watching that video uh, it's a quite a good video um, I think it was um, smoked chicken in a portable smoker. I think the name of the video was. Another good th thing about the lemon tree actually is um, uh, probably the the cheap man's um, uh, lime. Okay, if you don't have any lime, just cut this up and chuck it in your beer. It actually goes quite nicely in uh, DB Export Gold. Okay, it goes quite nicely in this if you if you're that way inclined. Anyways, um, I think what we'll do is uh, we'll just let this cook uh, for about uh, the 20 minutes, and um, we'll see how it is. Um, and um, we'll uh, flick the camera back on, and um, we'll show you what she's looking like. We'll see you shortly. Kia ora, welcome back. Um, so, uh, I've uh, squeezed the, uh, well it's been cooking, just squeezed the, uh, cut the lemons in half and squeeze the juice into here and just uh, taking the seeds out. Okay, and so 
the whanau can just help themselves to that as we uh, eat the fish. And so what I'm going to do now, I was just throwing out the, um, the fish guts under the uh, lemon tree and I was just about to throw out the um, squeezed lemons. Um, but uh, when I was over there I seen a little bit of puha and uh, puruporo. So I thought I will um, head over there and uh, I'll show you because I don't think I've shown people um, puha before. So I'll just grab this uh, recorder. Hopefully I don't drop it on in the motion. There we go. And what I do is I normally throw throw the guts under the tree. Um, let the cat cat hook into it. Um, and anything else just feed the uh, feed the uh, lemon tree here. You know. But uh, yeah, just throw it in, in there. Alright. And here's the puha down here. You can see that. I'll try and zoom it zoom it out a bit. In a bit there. And that's puha. It's quite a nice uh, young looking one there. See the big leaf in the middle? Leaf. That's puha there. It's, looks like there. And uh, just behind it, there's a uh, purupuru or rupiti. And I've done a uh, video on that one. Both of these are edible, edible plants. Um, and are uh, very delicious. In fact, the uh, purupuru here that you can see here, um, I just went and uh, picked some of that up uh, a couple of nights ago. Uh, got a whole bunch of good, nice ones, nice young ones. Look at that. Oh yeah, here's a here's a here's a big one here actually. Um, this this one here, this purupuru here. Um, it's it's been quite a funny one actually. It's sort of uh, been growing, and then uh, it'll die off. It'll die off when when there's no no rain, no water, and then all of a sudden, just when you think it's completely gone, boom, it'll just flourish again. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is a nice specimen. See all the big leaves there. So hopefully uh, Penny will um, pluck this and add it to all those other leaves. Uh, I uh, picked the other day. What I've done over here is, um, while it's been cooking, sorry, I'll get out of the way. While it's been cooking, it's um, been just uh, popping, and um, it was forcing the uh, lid off. So what I've done is I've just chucked a big rock, chucked a big rock on there to uh, keep the lid down. Um, and uh, that should help it cook. It should almost be finished now. I'm not quite sure how long we've been going for. Um, but uh, what I normally do is once the smoke start uh, stops, okay, um, or slows right down, okay, then you can pretty much guesstimate that, that it's finished finished um, cooking underneath. And you, as you could just see, I don't know if anyone noticed, just there there was some, um, still some flames coming out. You can see them just there. All right, it's all the blue flames. Flames are still going, so it's still going, which is all good. Um, yeah, so it's just a matter of sitting back and uh, enjoying the. Uh, what we're actually cooking here, I actually forgot uh, cooking with, is uh, manuka, manuka sawdust. Okay, um, so. Those that don't know what manuka is, um, it's spelt M-A-N-U-K-A, manuka, Mike, Alpha, November, Uniform, Kilo, Alpha, manuka. Anyway, um, I'm going to go and have another swig of the beer, and um, uh, we'll get back with you shortly. It shouldn't be too far away. Okay, team, um, 
over it's just finished up it's just finished smoking okay just now and uh, so what we're going to do is uh, take the rock off and um, hopefully Penny have you got some uh, knife fork or whatever fork no. salt okay so you just always be careful eh? just you have a rag or something handy um, I'm just going to move this away so that none of the kids come out and see that rock and play with it. Oh yeah, she's looking beautiful. Anything you've got that's hot, just move it, uh, move it, um, away safely somewhere so that no one gets burnt let's just zoom that in there hopefully you can see that still smoking oh that looks delicious zoom down into that meat there so what I'm going to do because I'm just going to see that meat there that you can see there. I'm just going to... Um, sorry about me going out of the shot each time. I just have to like, don't want to get the shadow in your fella's eyes in that. But that there looks delicious. Oh yeah. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Let's bring this back a bit. Okay. And that's still steaming. Steaming hot. So that's cooked right through at the moment. Anyway, what I'm going to do eat it. is eat that oh. bit while you guys are not watching. And, um, Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And what I'm going to do is best way I found get your get your pie dish. Okay, I should be able to just cut that straight off. Get a couple of um, fish slices. Okay, and just get under there. Okay, scoop it up. To the side it wants to go on and just place it down. Right. Same with the other one. Head under there. Right. And just place that on. If you like the skin, keep that. Some people want to chomp on that. It's all good. Some not so much. <sighs> Bring that up onto the table. <sighs> Bring that round. Yeah, you can get into there. Check that out, team. Beautiful. And then it's uh, kai time. So, uh, but I can t tell you it's nice. Penny, nice? Yeah. Penny's having a laugh, having a having a drink of a karuba. Yeah. Thanks. Anyway, team, um, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, it tastes delicious. Uh, 20 minutes, half an hour to cook uh, ahi tuna. And, um, yeah, lovely. So we're going to have uh, salt and uh, lemon on this as we eat it. And, um, oh, let's just check to see how Penny likes this. Let's see if she likes our kai. <laughs> uh. Nice? Mm. 
Nice? Mm. Yeah, she said nice. Anyway, team, catch you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.